Recent days, wearables are quickly morphing from smartwatches and fitness trackers to almost medical devices, able to alert us if they detect a symptom of a serious medical condition. For example, Samsung Galaxy Watch does have a blood pressure app, a MassFit GTR3 has a pump beat engine, but they are essentially using an algorithm on the same optical PPG sensor that's typically used to measure the heart rate. But let's be honest, that's not an actual blood pressure, this is only an estimation. However, not long ago the group of scientists and technologists from YHE Technology came up with a game changer. In today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about BP Doctor Pro, which might look and work like a premium sports smartwatch, but it does a lot more than that, and it's the first ever wearable that measures your actual blood pressure. I'll challenge the accuracy of the blood pressure measurements in BP Doctor Pro. Its heart rate and SpO2 measurements will also challenge the step count precision and we'll discuss the main features of this watch, so stay with me. Hi, what's up guys? My name is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. In an elegant looking box we can find the watch itself, a small charging dock, a micro USB cable, manuals and a warranty card and a wrist diameter tape to help you get the right fit. The watch has a very elegant design, it's solid and well made. The front of the stainless steel case is dominated by an oval shaped beautiful 1.41 AMOLED screen display with a resolution of 320 by 360 pixels. The display is sharp and bright, it's colourful and contrasty enough to read clearly in all kinds of light including bright sunlight. If we flip the watch we can find the transducers, PPG heart rate sensors and the charging connector points. Inside we got a triaxial accelerometer and a gyroscope and on the right hand side is an on off switch button for the display and a multifunction home button. The watch has a 30mm wide silicone wrist strap and there is an inflatable cuff to gauge the blood pressure. The wrist strap boasts a miniature pump and the air valve that inflates to monitor the blood pressure. It's positioned as a crescent covering only half of the inner wrist. While physically attached to the back of the watch, it's merely tethered to the end of the strap by a very narrow silicon loop. How does it work? Tell the BP Doctor Pro to do its thing and the wrist strap will physically tighten around your wrist over the course of exactly one minute. By the way, the wrist must be held over the heart level. Then the BP Doctor Pro starts pumping. It feels odd as the strap physically tightens around your wrist. It takes exactly one minute to reach the peak squeeze before it lets out a chirp and deflates, instantly displaying your blood pressure reading and the heart rate on the watch. If your figures are fine, you'll see a green circle. If not, it's red. If you move about during the process, it stops and takes you off. Blood pressure is traditionally taken using a spigma manometer consisting of a stethoscope, arm cuff, pump and dial or an upper arm oscillometric device which is a pain to use. BP Doctor Pro has miniaturized all the necessary pumps and valves to create a patented inflatable cuff design. For those of you who are not sure what these two numbers mean in the blood pressure readings, the blood pressure is recorded with two numbers. The systolic pressure, the higher number, is the force at which your heart pumps blood around your body. The diastolic pressure, which is the lower number, is the resistance to the blood flow in the blood vessels. This lower number measures the pressure in your arteries between beats. Here we got the readings, 135 systolic and 78 diastolic pressure. It's actually elevated blood pressure, I should probably drink less coffee. Elevated blood pressure doesn't mean hypertension yet, however if your blood pressure is around 140 by 90, that means you got a high blood pressure, also called hypertension, and you should consider a reliable home blood pressure monitor. You can have a high blood pressure for years without any symptoms. Uncontrolled high blood pressure increases your risk of serious health problems, including heart attack and stroke. Let's compare the readings from the watch against the Omron blood pressure monitor. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. For the reference, I'm going to use Omron blood pressure monitor. During the measurement, I got my arm supported, so my elbow is about heart level. 
Obviously, the cuff should be placed on the bare skin, not on her shirt. Here we got 132 systolic and 77 diastolic. I'll measure the blood pressure using the BP Doctor Pro now. Normal blood pressure for most adults is defined as a systolic pressure of less than 120 and diastolic pressure of less than 80. Here's the reading, 131 by 79 millimeters of mercury, that's good, we got almost identical readings. Ok, let's repeat the test. The BP Doctor Pro can also measure the blood pressure in guest mode, which means it doesn't take the personal details entered in the profile, I mean age or weight, so let's check the outcome. And here's the reading, 132 by 81 millimeters of mercury, that's in line with the medical device. Ok, let's repeat the test, just to be certain. Out of curiosity, I've just googled to double check. The normal blood pressure for adults is less than 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury, according to the American Heart Association. Here's the reading: 129 by 80 millimeters of mercury. I should certainly limit my daily amount of coffee. Let's grab the BP Doctor Pro now. To be honest, I expect almost identical readings. Let's see. Here's the reading. 129 systolic and 80 diastolic, that's in line with the medical device. In conclusion, the BP Doctor Pro is accurate measuring the blood pressure and it's incredibly convenient and far easier to use than the medical blood pressure monitor. Now let's check the heart rate accuracy. I'm going to run the BP Doctor Pro against a finger clamped medical pulse oximeter. For the heart rate measurements, the watch doesn't need to pump the cuff, it only uses the PPG sensor. The end process readings are in line and the final readings are 66 BPM at the watch and 66 BPM on the oximeter. That's good enough to me. Ok, let's check the SpO2 which is nothing more than blood saturation level which shows the percentage of oxygen in the blood. A normal level of oxygen is usually 95% or higher and the readings are identical 98% and 98%. Sleep tracking in BP Doctor Pro is very consistent, however, I wasn't able to scientifically confirm this. I was wearing the watch to bed a few times and I was able to detect the time I fell asleep, deep sleep, light sleep and awake time. The watch can also be set to alert you about apnea, which is a serious sleep disorder. The BP Doctor Pro can also track the HRV, heart rate variability, which is the fluctuation in the time intervals between heartbeats. The BP Doctor Pro does more than simply measure your blood pressure, it does most other things fitness watches do too. For example, it will track your activity like any other smartwatch, gets you notifications from your phone, set the alarms etc etc. BP Doctor Pro offers three workout monitoring modes which includes outdoor walking, indoor running and outdoor running. The watch doesn't have a built-in GPS, however it shows the steps, calories burned and the total time of the sports activities. So with that being said, let's take a look at the accuracy of the pedometer and BP Doctor Pro. I've been challenging the BP Doctor step count accuracy against a manual tally counter, manually tapping that button on each step. For manually counted 1000 steps, the BP Doctor Pro counted 1006 steps and that's really good. To validate the step count accuracy, I have repeated the test, doing my steps with various strides, various speeds and let's see what the BP Doctor registered. It's, ladies and gentlemen, it's 1009 steps and that's actually very good. The watch uses dedicated companion app called BP Doctor that you install on your phone which is where you set and control most of the functionality of the watch. The app itself is a comprehensive tool for tracking and storing health statistics and sports activities. To download the app you'll have to scan a QR code with your phone to get the Apple Store or Google Play as this is supported on both iOS and Android. The front page of the app shows essential statistics for the most recent readings of the blood pressure, HRV, blood oxygen saturation and heart rate. You can then enter each of these metrics individually to access data daily summaries and even yearly trends. It's fairly simple and to the point and that's a good thing. To maximize the overall accuracy of the processing algorithm of the watch, it's essential to enter the objective information in the personal profile within the companion app such as exact weight, height and age.
it's possible to choose from a range of nicely designed swappable watch faces, though the act of transferring new ones from the app to the watch takes around 2 to 3 minutes, that's pretty slow. The BP Doctor Pro has a 180mAh lithium polymer battery, which YHE reckon will last about 7 days. It obviously depends on how often you would use the blood pressure feature. During my test, I took countless blood pressure readings and the battery lost all the power in 3 days. However, it recharges very quick, it takes around an hour to fully charge the battery. The BP Doctor Pro will best suit those that have high blood pressure and want a device to help them lower it by both being more generally active and losing weight. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks everyone, that was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV.